Hi everyone! Welcome to You Art What You Eat Part 2, where we'll show you examples of accepted student work where they use food as a subject matter. Across every culture in all of human history, food imagery has been recreated over and over again in countless compositional interpretations, and if done right, it can be a fascinating subject for you to use in your art portfolio. For example, this Ashcan student who now studies fashion design at Pratt Institute painted these beautiful watercolor paintings where watermelon was the subject. Both still lifes have this watery, dreamy quality that seem to use the quality of a watermelon as inspiration. Or this fun sketchbook series where the different fruit was cut in half and drawn on either side of the sketchbook, one in black and white and one in different color designs. This food inspired portfolio piece is cabbage, meticulously rendered with pencil, then ink, and then collaged with small pieces of paper, and then all three were put together for one portfolio piece. This student drew a comical self-portrait where she slipped on a giant banana and is bleeding strawberry. This is another fun example of using food as inspiration where two figures wait for the bus. The girl has a cake for a head and the cow's fur is made of green lettuce. This Ashkan student painted different fruits and vegetables from a different perspective, from above, and created a neutral background so that the food could be the star. This was for the RISD home desk prompt to make a portfolio piece based on the word contain. This series was made with small pieces of a single color of tissue paper glued to the paper. The overlapping of the tissue paper in some areas creates dimension and shadows. This is a simple ink drawing of an apple that was made into a great portfolio piece by adding the colorful, partially cut out peel. This is a cherry in motion made by a student who now studies animation. It's a great example of how you can make any of your portfolio pieces relate back to your intended major. This student made a full fish-inspired costume with a pocket full of hand-painted fabric pillow stuffed fish. For this portfolio piece, the student painted a huge steak that was meant to be a floor covering, and it was shown during one of our student exhibitions on the floor, where the people who visited the gallery walked on it. If you look closely at the painting, you can see syringes and people in the act of injecting, and the names of the hormones that are injected into the cattle that we consume as meat. This piece is really great because of the scale and the fact that it's shown on the ground rather than hanging on the wall, and it shows that she's passionate about something, in this case, meat consumption. Here's another very large-scale painting of meat. This painting was shot in a large parking garage, which adds drama to the size and the meaning of the piece. This student, who now studies design at the School of Visual Arts, uses different materials to make the letter A, using meat for one of them. This student drew a series based on the phases of a sandwich being eaten, which you could do with any food, but it works so well because of all the different textures and colors involved with a sandwich. This student, who now studies illustration, made an entire city made of cheese, and its placement on a picnic blanket is visually very effective. For this piece, the student cut open vegetables and put the measurements on each painting. This would not have been as great a portfolio piece without all four examples. And this student made a book all about peanuts in the shape of a peanut. Again, you could do this with any food, but it works really well with the graphically recognizable peanut shape. This student placed botanical paintings inside of teacups. The paintings were well done, and placing them in the teacups and photographing them this way brought them to another level. This is a fun series of paintings about food. This student pushed the idea of a banana and painted Barbie dolls as bananas in the process of decay. And this student made mini ink drawings of food on plastic spoons. This painting would have been nice small, but the size of it makes it really outstanding. And this ink drawing is really nice. And this series of drawings about ramen noodles. This student used sushi to inspire this sculptural work called Process of Healing, Stream of Consciousness, where each piece of sushi is made of different materials that represent each step of the process of pain and healing to the artist. This is a series of three-dimensional models that are inspired by the shape of garlic. This is a series of portraits with the student's image made in the shape and texture of an egg, a, tri a triptych about steak, and a series of paintings about eggs, bacon, and English muffins. I hope that was helpful. If you enjoyed this video, click on the subscribe button below and follow us on Instagram at Ashcan Studio for more portfolio tips and examples. We're also offering classes online now. Email us at information at ashcanart.com for more information. 
Thanks for watching.